Thank you all for coming here. This, uh, I'm Senator Brian Daly. I'm here with Chris Kaiser, who's the owner of the store, obviously. Um, you know, we've had these uh, PSPs, these power safety shutdowns. Uh, we did, uh, last night, we rolled out, uh, we asked the governor to do a special session. Uh, we've seen power outages all over the district. Literally almost a million people in California <laughs> as power has been turned off. Um, we think we can do a better job than that. The Senate pro team has asked, has set up a special select committee uh, to talk about this issue. And so we think that uh, time is of the essence. Uh, I just want Chris to share um, how it's impacted your business and the community around here as well. So Chris, thanks for taking the time, by the way. Thanks for uh, posting this or having this as an idea. So essentially, first of all, I want to say to my community, my friends, my staff, my family, um, this is hard. This is really hard. We're going to make it. We're strong. You know, failure is not an option for us. However, it's challenging. And right now, I personally am looking for a hand, not a handout. We have lost um, nearly $60,000 in inventory. We Every day we're down. That's revenue not coming in. That's money we cannot spend. That's vendors we cannot pay. Uh, we have a large, um, uh, on the 5th, we have a large payroll due. So I'm suspending payment to vendors, sorry if you're out there, um, for so I can make that payrolls. Uh, we just sent off our, our state taxes uh, two days ago. Um, these things are, I can short term this, I can kind of patch it together. But long term, we can't keep on doing this. My staff right now, some of my staff has lost 25% of their monthly pay this month. They can't pay rent. They can't buy, you know, their food that was in their refrigerator is gone. Um, you know, I've been able to open up the doors and let them uh, come in and grab some things, but that's not going to go on forever. We're not taking any more deliveries. This whole thing is such a chaos it's yeah okay so it impacted me personally but this community these small communities that are codependent if my staff starts going i can't live here anymore they go down the hill or they go to wherever those jobs are they're not here when we can reopen they're not here to buy food much less help sell the food so these things you know and one thing i would like to express to the government is this little store here we pay over $300,000 a year in sales and payroll tax. That's revenue, that's real revenue, so this could collapse not only this kind of community and all the other low communities, but also the government at large. And what needs to be taken is action. It's like deliberation, conversation, decision, and immediate action. 